Hey guys, Dale Ross here, coming to you guys from the Shanghai factory. Been over here for a little over a week now, and uh, we've got a tremendous amount of work done. Um, but uh, we had definitely wanted to, uh, you know, give you guys an update. And, uh, and there's been a lot of speculation, and we want to clarify exactly what's going on, uh, where we're at in the process, and what you guys can expect. But before we get to the ship date, which is the most anticipated, you know, obviously news that you guys are looking for. Um, I just wanted to, you know, make it clear that we have a few announcements to make. That something that you guys do not know anything about. Um, very exciting news. I'm extremely excited to be able to tell you this today. Um, so the first thing is going to be um, the uh, the sh the sh stem and the stem shaft on the scooter. Okay. Um, we have decided that it's going to be 100% steel, 304 steel, best steel you can get from the very top all the way to the bottom and everything inside. So uh, the stem shaft, which is actually inside the, you know, the, the stem itself, that is going to be 100% steel. Okay. So this does add weight to the scooter. Okay. Um, but for a very good reason. Okay. That's one thing. So that's very good news. Number two, uh, the cooling system. So this is going to be a forced air cooling system that we've added to the scooter. Again, we're adding some weight to it, but we're not going to have to worry about overheating of the scooter when it starts getting warm outside. We didn't want to deal with the situation uh, after, you know, reviewing, you know, the other uh, competition scooters out there that, you know, with the, the, the shaved uh, snaps stems and also the overheating on the, uh, the controllers. We want to make sure that we avoid this. So what we did was we added a ventilated system. And with that, you get a, an extra layer of aluminum on top of this. Okay. So, you know, if you take the, the, the grip tape and the, the deck that it's laying on off, it's got the layers, okay? And these are all vents. So what it is, it's air when you're traveling will hit in the front and it will go all the way through and it will come out the rear end of the scooter and it will cool, okay? The interior of the deck, so the controller, the battery and the wiring will all be cooled by the system. Guys, let me tell you something. This will make all the difference in the world. Um, uh, you know, there was no way I was going to not do this after, you know, the, the research and, and, you know, just, just the safety of, you know, uh, insurance policy kind of in our minds that we know that we're not going to have any problems. So I feel very confident in telling you that, you know, uh, cooling system, uh, solid steel, and, you know, that's going to equate to obviously, you know, very good things for everybody. <clears throat> the last thing, and probably one of the most important things, you guys, a lot of speculation going around about, you know, the water uh, level of the scooter. Um, this was originally going to be an IP54 scooter. Okay. This scooter is now going to be, you're hearing it here first, an IP66 rated scooter. Okay. You guys, this is a waterproof scooter. 100%. I've actually got a video where I pulled the deck lid up and I spray with a power washer uh, inside the deck and, you know, walk away. Uh, the next day, next month, completely fine. Um, it's a it's an excellent product, and we're happy to be able to say that the uh, the RX7 is going to be the first Roadrunner scooter that will be an IP66 rated scooter.